Hey, Sheens. Are y'all ready for Air Jordan? Air who? to War of the Stars, where today, basketball superstar Michael Jordan takes on acting superstar Martin Sheen and his son, Charlie Sheen. I'm your host, Dick Van Patten. Michael, are you going to be all out? I mean, you're one of the greatest basketball players that ever lived. I mean, will you be all out? Will you really be trying? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm going to try, and I think it's going to be a very competitive thing. Uh, I feel they're going to come out and try to beat me. I'm going to try to beat them. Contrary to popular belief, Michael Jordan does not fly or jump to his destinations. He drives just like us ordinary mortals. and the Sheens are playing three contest competition. Now, the first contest is foul shooting, the second horse, and the third, two on one. In foul shooting, Michael and the Sheens are shooting 20 foul shots, but Jordan must shoot his with his eyes closed. Now, our expert handicapper, sports columnist Stan Hockman, analyzes this event. I watched the Sheens earlier, and they can shoot. Jordan can shoot better, of course, but take the running and jumping out of his game, and he's merely mortal. With his eyes shut, he's second string high school varsity. Prediction, Air Jordan shot down by Sheens in foul shooting. The next event is horse. In this one, both Sheens get an opportunity to make Michael's shot. Despite the fact that both Sheens get a chance to make Jordan's shot, it won't make any difference whatsoever. Let's face it, behind the back, double pumping, triple twisting reverse layups are not what they're doing in Hollywood these days. Prediction? Jordan takes shine out of Sheen's in horse. Now, even if Jordan or the Sheen's win the first two events, they will still play the two-on-one contest. Jordan is spotting the Sheen's five points in a ten-point game, and he only gets one shot at the basket. The handicaps make this a tough one for Michael. Two against one. One shot at the basket. But I have to focus on one sobering, overriding consideration. Michael Jordan is about 10,000 times better than the Sheen's. Prediction? Air Jordan bomb Sheens. And so tomorrow's headline, Apocalypse Again for Sheens. And that's the way I see it. Okay, now you've heard the rules. This part of the contest, you're going to have to shoot with your eyes closed. I don't know. Have you ever done anything like this before, Michael? Yeah, I was young. I used to do it all the time. Okay, then you know what you're in for. And you guys are good ball players, so, I mean, you've definitely got a chance here. And there's a lot of people who will be rooting for you and uh, praying for you. Okay, let's go. Now, we'll be back in a minute with the foul shooting contest between Air Jordan and the Sheen Machine. Kill Welcome back to our War of the Stars basketball matchup. Now, Michael Jordan has already taken five of his first ten foul shots, and he's made three. Now, remember, Michael is shooting 20 foul shots and the Sheen's 20, ten each for Martin and Charlie. But Jordan is shooting his with his eyes closed. That's four out of six for Michael. Four for seven. The Sheens seem pretty nervous, and why wouldn't they be? Going up against Michael Jordan. Ooh, another miss. Four for eight. And Michael gets back on track. Five for nine. And he hits his last one. Six for ten for Michael Jordan. Now it's Charlie's turn to shoot ten shots. Martin just told Charlie that he can open his eyes. Let's see how Charlie Sheen does with the pressure on. Ooh, he makes his first one. Ah, a miss. Michael's applauding it. 
right on. Two for three for Charlie Sheen. The young girls here really like Charlie. And he's putting on a good show for them. Three for four. There's another one. Charlie Sheen, five for six here in foul shooting. There's number six. He's already tied. Michael score. Perfect. Wow, that's seven in a row. Sheen is eight for nine, and he is about to take his last shot. He finally misses. That's eight for ten. I spoke with Charlie earlier today. I noticed that you're using the name Sheen as opposed to your real name, Estevez. Estevez, yeah. yeah. Estevez, is that the way I pronounce yeah, it? Estevez. The accent on the second syllable. Right. Yeah. Uh, how come you're using your family name? Any special reason? Or? Well, I, I felt with the way my father had established it thus far, I, I should carry it on when he's finished with the business, you know, or yeah. the business is finished with him. So uh, just to keep, like, keep the name going. Uh, I'm glad you did that because the name means a lot. He's a great actor. Thanks. Jordan has made only 11 of his 19 shots. He misses again, and that's 11 for 20. Now it's Martin Sheen's turn. You will recall that Charlie made 8 for 10, so Martin needs to make only four of his 10 foul shots. There's one. Martin looked very calm on that one. There's another one. Only two more. Still needs two more. He misses again. Another miss. Martin may be feeling the heat. There he goes. He needs just one more. And he does it. Martin and Charlie Sheen defeat Michael Jordan in foul shooting to take a 1-0 lead in their free contest match. I'm going to tear them up. I want them bad. 1-0. 2-1. I didn't mean bad. Jordan. So said Michael Jordan before the horse game. And he delivered. <laughs> Since no dunking was allowed, Jordan was forced to shoot shots like that. And how could one expect Martin Sheen to make that? That's how. I think Martin Sheen was more shocked than anyone. But then Michael really turned it on. The Sheens had no answer for that shot. Then a 25-footer made it H.O. Is your R. I've never seen Martin or Charlie make a driving hesitation twirl around layup. H O R S. And finally, let's throw in another 30 footer just for the heck of it. There's no way lightning would strike again for Martin Sheen. Charlie would have no better luck, so Michael Jordan evened this contest at one to one. That gave the fans just what they were looking for, a third contest that would decide the match. Three is about to begin, and it looks as if Michael is serious about this. Off go the sweats, and the kids love it. We're about to get underway in this two-on-one contest. It's up to ten, one point per basket, and Jordan has spotted the Sheen's five points. Also, Michael gets only one shot at the basket. Charlie misses, and Michael gets the rebound. After each possession, the other team gets to check the ball. Here goes Jordan. Spins right. Fall away jumper. It's good! Five to one. I don't know how the Sheens are going to stop that. Martin with the baseline shot. Charlie with the rebound. No good. Look at Martin Sheen rebound. Oh, Michael Jordan putting on a good show, and the kids love it.
Jordan with the jumper. He misses. And Martin Sheen turns it over. The score is 5-1, to one. Sheen's. Jordan goes to the basket, uses his height advantage, and banks one home. Five to two. Jordan makes it look easy, doesn't he? The Sheens are going to have to get on track if they want to win this one. Ooh, and alley -oop. Shades of Michael Cooper. Six to two. Sheens in the lead. Jordan with the jumper. Off the front rim. Now remember, Jordan gets only one shot at the basket, so he's got to make it a good one. That wasn't a good one. Charlie with the hook. And it goes. The Sheens now take a 7-2 advantage. This is not going to be easy for Michael Jordan. Jordan with the jumper from the top of the key. Nothing but net. 7-3. And Charlie Sheen answers. That's eight to three and time's running out for Air Jordan. Martin Sheen with the steal, over to Charlie. Back to Martin. Oh, Jordan puts that one in the first row. Martin, the message is don't ever steal the ball from Michael Jordan. It's as simple as that. Martin shoots from the baseline. No good. Jordan looks for the opening, drives to the hoop, and misses the layup. Michael says no harm, no foul. Charlie misses. Martin taps it out. Charlie misses again, and the score remains 8-3. Michael Jordan has a long way to go. He has to outscore the Sheen 7-1 to one in order to win this 10-point game. There's one of them, a patented Jordan jam, 8-4. Jordan blocks Martin's hook. Out to Charlie. The jumper. Yes. It's now nine to four. There goes Michael to the basket. An easy one. Nine to five. But now he's got to stop the sheen machine. Jordan blocks it. Charlie with the rebound. Out to Martin. Baseline left to Charlie. It's good! And look at Charlie Sheen. Is he ever happy? That's it, folks. The Sheens are victorious. 10 to 5 is the final score. And we'll be back in a moment with a wrap-up and interviews with the competitors. We all know that Michael Jordan is an exceptional man. But these Sheen guys, I tell you, you're exceptional to get out there and do what you did and do it so well. With, with, with Michael Jordan, the best there is. I, I, you're in some shape. I can't get over you, Martin. I wish I was in the shape, he's in. <laughs> are, you, are you exhausted now? I'm a little tired, yeah. Well, listen, I want to say one thing about Michael Jordan. You know, it was, it was a big handicap he gave these guys, and it, he's the one that devised the handicap. That was very fair of you, but I, these guys are just too good to give that big a handicap to, aren't they? I know next time. <laughs> I will. <laughs> okay, we'll have a return match sometime then. Charlie, thanks so much. You were wonderful, just oh, like your dad. You. And best of luck at what you're doing. Best of luck, Michael, and we'll see you all soon.